All right, so video 39, who wants to walk us through and explain each part of why you did what you did, how it finds the number of blocks that you did. 39. What'd you do? Uh, 39 times 2. 39 times 2. I, do, I, do I explain why I did that? Uh, well, let's get the whole thing and then you can explain each oh, part of it. And then uh, plus 3. Plus 3. So, what's that? It shouldn't matter. Like, if we start from zero or we start from one, we should get the same answer. Okay. okay. Um, you times 39 by 2 because you, you're, um, you're doing 39, you're ti that's the figure you're trying to get, and then you go up by 2, and then um, you add 3 because you start at figure zero, and um, figure zero, you go 2 back, okay. and that, that would be 3. So if we were to go back to figure two. zero, it looks like we're going to take away from the horizontal here, so we would actually take this away, and then we would uh, come down from the top, so this would go away. And so figure zero would have two fewer blocks, and we would have three blocks in it. So here is what Hunter is explaining, that he goes you know, up one step to figure one, two steps to figure two, three steps to figure three, four steps to figure four, and on and on and on and on and on. And once he gets to figure nine, he took how many steps to get from zero to 39? 39. 39 steps to get to figure 39 from zero. Okay. Every time you go up, what happens? You gain two. Plus two gain two. Two, two, two. two there, two there, two there, two there, two there, two there and there and there and there and there. And then last one also, oh. two. How many twos is that? A lot. 39 to be exact. 39 twos. Okay. And keep in mind, we have not really considered how many blocks are in this figure here. We're just counting how many blocks we're going to add on. Right. Two we're going to get added on to get this guy. Two to get this one. Two to get this one. So on and so on and so on. Uh, but we have to start with right, three blocks. So we add the three blocks that we started with. Right. <coughs> So, <coughs> yeah, who agrees that that would do it? Who did it slightly different? Okay. Olivia, why don't you? I did 38. 38 times 39. And then 2. Times 2. And plus 5. Plus 5. Okay. So a couple things are different. We've got <coughs> excuse me, 38 times 2 plus 5. So, I can figure out the changes. So, why plus five? What is it? Because starting with five. So you start with the five of figure one. Yeah. Well, if I start at figure one, you kind of like, I got a little head start on Hunter in a way, right? I'm at figure one, he starts at figure zero. So if I'm at figure one, how many times am I have to get to go up to get to figure 39? 38. Right, I don't have to, I don't have to take that step. Right? So I go up 38 times, 38 times two, that's how many I'm going to add on to the first figure, which has five blocks in it. Okay? Is one way better than the other? Of course it's not. Either way is better. Both ways, I don't know, have things that you might prefer. And if you prefer it, you should use it. That's the way you should go with it. All right? So let's uh, use both of these approaches and write two different formulas. They look different, but of course they're going to work the same. They're, they should give you the same answer. All right, so we'll kind of keep track this way. Like, here's the calculation. Calculation approach number one, approach number two, and the figure number. Well, we'll call it figure number X, because that's what we're going to start calling it. This is why, and this is why we found a different way. This is for figure number 39. Okay. Let's do a couple more specifics, and then we'll get into writing a formula. So let's say we want to go to figure 72. Figure 72. So if you like this way, go that way. If you like this way, go that way. 72. Okay, 147. Which way did you go, Just with like this kind of approach or this? Okay, the one on the right. Did you say 101? 147. 147. Anybody else get 147? Great. Oh, you got the surest way to 
to not know what you did wrong is to not write it down. Yeah, make sure you're writing these down. If you make a miscalculation, you have to start from scratch. If you write it down, you know how to start from scratch. You just figure out what to do wrong. All right? Okay. So, you know, when I asked who used this approach, a lot of people raised their hands. So maybe let's write this one down first. How do we find the member of box in figure 72? That's going to be 71 times 2. Okay, why 71 times 2? Or why 71? Yes, it does. Times two because? Because there's two blocks added on everything. You got it. Plus? Plus, so there's so many start with. Uh, so the two is the same. Is that surprising? No. No. no and whenever I do this, I'm going to add on a certain number of twos. This time I added 38 twos. This time I added 71 twos. But I'm going to add a bunch of twos. The five is the same. Is that curious? No. Why not? Maybe. Because you started out with five. Started out with five. Either, either way, if I'm going to 71 or I'm going to 38, or 72 or 39, I'm still starting with five blocks of figure two. Okay. Well, what about this way? This way? How about starting from figure zero instead? A Is that three? 72. 72 times two. Two, two plus three. three. Plus yeah. three. Yeah. Figure zero, zero has three in it, so start with three. I mean, how many different ways could there be conceivably to find the number of blocks in some figure down there? Several. Mm -hmm. Yeah, infinite, really. I mean, it, it, to, to make it infinite, I have to consider doing weird things like, oh, I'll start at figure negative five. That would be a weird thing to do. Or I'll start at figure four. That would be a little bit. Why? Why would, why would you think to do that? It, it wouldn't be wrong, but it definitely would be uncommon for people to do it. The common thing would be you know, start from zero and start from one. So do these both find the same value? 100 and what was it? 147. Okay. Hunter, did you do it this way this time? Did you find 147? Should be 147? Oh, yeah. And then Jasper says 147, a lot of people raise their hand 147, got 147, either way we go. Okay. So now let's go to the figure X, figure number X. Okay. We should do with X exactly the same as we did with 39, exactly the same as we did with number 72. We should treat X in exactly the same way. The same way. So, well, you see 72 there, you see 72 there. What would this formula be, do you think, Jasper? In parentheses, x minus 1. Is it the same as this approach? Um, if, let's go over it. This is the, the way you did it. Yeah. Okay. So in parentheses, the number of the figure, no, minus 1, okay. and then outside the parentheses, uh, times 2 plus 5. What do you think about that? Mm. Does this formula <coughs> describe the way that you all found the number of blocks in each figure? Yes. Let's see. Figure number 39. What did you do immediately with 39 as you went to use this approach? Subtract one from it, right? Because it only takes, to get to figure 39, it only takes one fewer step than that to get there. So 38 is one less than 39. Times the change. Please stop doing that. Take those out. Don't pretend like you don't know what I'm talking about. Take those out of his hair. Thank you. Then you add on five. For figure 72, we're going to subtract one, multiply by two, Add five. The times two is always the same. The plus five is always the same. Okay. Uh, so there's the number of the figure minus one times two plus five. Let's try. It. Let's try that formula on.
Well, let's try it out on figure 48. 48. Well, if I use this formula, it's going to look like 48 minus 1, that number times 2, plus 5. Well, 39, that number was a 38. With 72, that number became a 71. What's 48 minus 1? 47. 47. Does that follow the pattern that you have been using so far? Yeah. yeah. Times two plus five. Forty-seven times two plus five. So the formula no. makes takes care of the taking one away part of it, right? Taking one away. Couldn't that be like a double-sided problem? Double-sided? Yeah. What do you mean? Like you have the problem on the left, and then you just made a problem out of your answer on the right. Well, all I did was like, I put an equal sign here because 48 minus 1 is 47, and so 48 minus 1 and 47 are the same, so these two things are the same as each other. And I could just keep writing equals and equals and equals uh, all the way out to the right until I arrive at the final number, right? Oh. Okay. Some of you do that, and you just put equal signs, equal signs, equal signs, even though the things you're writing down are not equal. This is fine. You can just keep writing equals as long as all we're doing is like doing some math or just following the order of operations, taking it to another, a, a simpler form of the same thing. But what would this formula look like? Right? Like Hunter's approach would look like what has a formula? Marcus? take the bigger number itself, multiply by 2, and add 3, because I'm starting at figure 0, and it has 3 blocks in it. Okay, either way. Either way. Okay, here, let's, uh, let's so we got two different formulas. Y equals x times 2, 2x, two either way, this looks a little bit cleaner. Okay, or this formula looks like 2 times x minus 1 plus 5. So this is what it looks like I mean, if you start at figure 0, kind of like the, the methodology there. And here, this would be like someone who's starting at figure 1. Okay, somebody who starts at figure 1, takes 1 away from the figure number, and multiplies that by 2. Okay, we got the, the total change, how much we're adding on. And they add 5, because figure 1 has 5 in it. So he's starting at figure 0, backs up the figure 0 with 3 blocks in it, and then takes x steps, exactly the same as the number of the figure, times 2, 2x plus 3 for that. The thing I want to point out here is, what can I do with this two parentheses x minus 1? Oh, uh, shouldn't you make a, like a, a graph, or a, oh, I forgot what you call it. Something, like the numbers are, and you'd like to fill in for x. No, we don't need to fill in for x. I mean, we can, that's what the, fi that's what the formula is for. I can fill in for x, but I don't have to. I don't have to put a number in for x. Right. How do I multiply that two by the parentheses right. x minus one? Just Hunter? Just two times x, so it'll be two x, and then three times the one, so one. What's that called? The Hunter just did. Distribution. 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 Distributed. <laughs> two x minus two. Now, what's negative two plus five? Seven. Negative two plus five. Three. Right. <laughs> negative two. Plus five three. is three. Positive. Yeah. Well, look at that. Good job. 2x plus three, 2x plus three. It turns out, no surprise, both of these formulas do exactly the same thing. They essentially, two times x plus three. So I like the easiest math you've ever learned. Yeah. All right. Well, let's, let's do this. Yeah, oh, harder. Right. Way to go. That's gonna make it harder. Someone come up and uh, create a pattern for us like Colby did. Me. Right. Yeah. yeah. I wanted to do 
to talk to each other about Fitbits and whatever else. What? I just asked you to, well, I didn't ask you to do anything, so don't do anything. So Max, drawing a pattern for us, does it follow the right kind of pattern? No. Yeah. No? No. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
if I wanted to get to the seventh figure, well, one way I could do it is to start here and add two, and add two, and add two, and add two, right? and keep adding two, and keep adding two, and keep adding two, until I get to whichever figure I want to get to, in this case, figure seven. If I want to get to figure seven, how many times do I have to go up to get to figure seven? Six. Six times. When I started figure one, I had to go up six times to get to figure seven. Okay. If I go up six times, I could say plus two, okay, plus two again, all right, plus two again, plus two again, and plus two again. I just added two six times. But what's faster than that? Two times six. Two times six. Okay. Two times six. That's how many blocks we add on. But like I said, we're adding those blocks on. What are we adding it on to? This guy right here. Four blocks. Four blocks, four so blocks in figure four. one. So, so we add on four. Ooh. Okay, let's change it from figure seven to figure 23. How's that going to change our calculation? By, is it going to change a lot of it? Nope. No. no. What's it going to change? The answer and the, the answer and the six. Yeah. So it changes the six, changes the answer. Instead of six, right? It's going to be what? To get to figure 23, we're going to have a? 22. 22. 22. Because 22 is the number of steps it takes to get from figure 1 to figure 23. 22 steps to get from figure 1 to figure 23. And every time we go up one of those 22 steps, we add on two blocks. We add on a total of uh, 44 blocks. We add on two 22 times. Plus the four we started with. Give us the number of blocks in the 22nd figure. Okay. Now, this time, without telling me the actual number, just tell me what you would do with this number. Say we're going to go to the 84th figure. If you go to the 84th figure, what are you going to do with that number? As you go to plug it into this calculation. Cody? Go minus one. Go minus one. Take away one from it, and it goes right there. And take away one from it. Again, is, is there really anything different about what I'm going to do with the number 77? I'm going to take 77 and do what with it? Take one away from it. It becomes 76. I plug in 76 right there. So to turn this, this pattern, right, this predictable pattern, into an actual formula, all I have to do is kind of tell you what am I doing with any number that you give me. Okay? If I give you x, what are you going to do with that number x, whether it's 77 or 84 or whatever? What are you going to do with that number, though? Minus 1. Minus 1. So we're going to take the number that's given and minus one, because this counts the number of steps from figure one to figure x. Figure one to figure x. It's one fewer than the figure number. Or I can distribute the 2. y equals 2 times x is 2x. 2 times negative 1 is negative 2. There is a plus 4. And we get y equals 2x plus 2. How else might I come up with this figure, with this, uh, this formula? What's that? Start at figure 0. If you started at figure 0, you would have come up with this like first thing. That would have been the first formula you came up with. But you can also distribute the 2 in here and come up with the same thing. Um, uh, if we start at figure 1 and we go to figure, all the way up to figure X. How many steps do we get to figure X? X minus one. X minus one. X minus one. Number minus one. 
How many steps to get to 77? 76 steps. One less than 76. How many steps to get to the 100th figure? 99. 99. Minus 1. How many steps to get to 176? 75. 75. You subtract 1, right? So. Here's the number of the figure. The number of steps is one less than that. So take one less than the figure number, multiply it by what? Five and five. Five, because we add on five every time. Plus, plus five, plus two. five, plus five, plus five, plus five. Plus five, plus five, plus five. So multiply by five, add the two that you started with. All right. See you tomorrow. Cool.